everyone welcome to programming knowledge so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so hi guys this is the 22nd tutorial of our django series so this is the github link of our repository you can move to this project download this project uh, uh, i have defined below the instructions and i would be updating the instructions soon because uh, now we are going to be working on a new app and basically we are going to work in the same repository so basically i wanted to do this because uh, we are going to make uh, inside a single django project we are basically going to develop two apps so uh, i would define few changes how you can use two apps inside a uh, single project so main motive would be because we would be using the same template and i would tell you how you can use the same template and defining the other backend part so this how this way how you can use the uh, basic template which we used in a previous app in this app as well and i would be defining which uh, changes you have to do so this would help you out so let's get started so basically in this we are going to design a django voting app so in this app we have a a, a list of programming uh, programming languages which the user uh, in in that we will provide real time suggestions under the search like suppose uh, any user uh, 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 types the letter J, then uh, we would provide them suggestions. The programming languages starting with the letter J, such as Java or JavaScript. Or uh, same in the if we type P, then we would have P uh, is uh, like Perl programming uh, programming language Python. So in this, like C for C stand for C and C plus plus. So we would be pro providing suggestions. Or like in the P, we could also define a suggestion under PHP as well. So like in this tutorial, we are going to create a voting app. We are going to start with this and we vote for each programming language. Then we use a progress bar that how many votes they have got and we then would return or render a progress uh, progress bar on the front end part and we would update the vote for each language if you vote for more. Okay. So let's get started with this. So basically, uh, this is my server. So the server has started. Okay, because I have, uh, so basically I would define some, some few changes like uh, this is my uh, settings.py file. So uh, earlier it was template slash calculator app, but now it is voting app because we would be referring to the templates folder. So I would move to the templates folder. Yeah, this is the templates folder. So it, it has two folders. The one is, is for calculator app and another is for voting app. So we are referring to the voting app folder inside the templates so uh, for the earlier app you used to refer calculator app so you need to define a change calculator app if you are using calculator app and then if you are using voting app then you need to define voting app so basically what we did we created the same html page okay now uh, then for calculator app we are we, we, if you want to use then we need to define template slash calculator app if we are going to run the calculator app okay and if you want to run the voting app, we need to define template slash voting app. Okay, so this is the main uh, change we need to define. So uh, please take care about it. And I will define this in, in the repository instructions as well. Okay, and the next. Okay, now we will move to urls.py file. Okay, uh, uh, let me do one thing. urls.py file of Django projects. Okay, so basically uh, when I do, okay, uh, uh, so uh, this is calculator app so include calculator app dot urls so for voting app we will do voting app include voting app dot urls this is very simple okay so basically in the same way i'll give, give a quick overview for templates we have templates folder let me uh, again show you the templates folder yes templates for calculator app templates for voting app then urls dot py file for calculator app as well and voting app as well okay now uh, we'll move to urls.py file. So basically, I'm clicking on urls.py file or voting app. Okay. So this is very uh, similar. We have done at this as earlier as well. So like we have uh, like URL pattern uh, path views.index name is equal to index. Now, if I go to views.py file, so I'll move to the views.py file of voting app. Okay. So you, uh, uh, this is a, a backend logic we'll be also working on. Okay. Uh, so before this, what we can do. So this is the index. So we can, uh, uh, what we can do, uh, uh, we need to generate a, let me do one thing or we can do what we can do. Uh, I'll run this server. Okay. And then I'll move to voting app. Yeah. Here you can see, uh, like this is Django voting app. Okay. 
and like I've defined few changes, I'll move to index.html file. So basically when I'm moving to index.html file, I'm moving to the voting app. Okay. So uh, this looks fine. Okay. So I changed the title Django voting app. I'll define as Django voting app. Django voting app. Uh, Django voting app. Good, good. About instructions. I'll move to the about and instructions. So pick your favorite language. Okay. Uh, uh, so you need to define in this and pick your favorite uh, favorite language and vote okay and vote okay this is very simple then select your language and see result this is a uh, inst basic instructions okay in the navbar i define some changes you can see like uh, in the nav class navbar dark and background is dark so here you can see this uh, navbar dark refers to this and background dark reference to this color so here you can see the uh, navbar has been dark in color so to see the responsive na nature we can press ctrl shift i okay okay so here you can see it's good okay we have the uh, navbar so it's working fine so in the about pick your favorite language select your language and see results okay so in this next uh, like uh, so basically uh, we are going to define uh, and one thing we need to make sure that uh, that in the form uh, I had defined uh, the image like I'm referring to the static folder okay let me go to the static folder this is main.jpg okay and this is main2.jpg okay so <coughs> so basically in main.jpg this was referring to the calculator app and this is main2.jpg and this is referring to this coding uh, background structure okay so basically so like uh, and the good part is that index.html still exists so this is the index.html of calculator app so this is uh, 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 this is index.html of calculator app and this is the all logic we had written if error if end result okay and here you can see here you can see the navbar is equal to well, i can show you one thing the navbar light and navbar background is light that this is for the calculator app okay and like in this uh, 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 even the image we had uh, made also that was main.jpg so here i can trying to show the similarities between that under the same Django project we are making it two apps and basically I wanted to show you one thing that we are using the same template for both the apps without uh, uh, writing the code as much and just making the modification necessaries we need it okay so this is also good so basically I'll just a quick hint like if you want to use calculator app you need to define template slash calculator app here okay so very quick overview the templates calculator app is there and uh, the same way templates voting app, app is there then both of them have index.html index.html one has a different image one has a, uh, another image and background dark and background light for di different respective nav bars what i have defined so in order to run the respective app what you need to do uh, you need to define template slash calculator app when you are going to run the calculator app and template slash voting app when you are going to run the voting app so let me very be very clear with this so uh, it doesn't create an issue okay so basically what i wanted to do uh, i want you to solve uh, uh, to uh, get uh, uh, further uh, like uh, move on with the back end part also because we are, you know, we are going to use this ready made template which will help us in the front end time i want you to solve one coding problem here because this will help you to make a back end logic so i'll type control n like you have an array okay and it has all the elements uh, like it can be any elements one 2 2 2 comma 3 comma 3 comma 3 or something like mixed numbers as well or like 4 comma 4 comma 4 okay okay it, it might not be necessary it, it is sorted I'll, I'll give this a 7 2 1 3 4 5 6 okay okay uh, what I can do this is an array okay I'll copy this okay I'll open the page okay sorry 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 i'll open the ideally yes okay so this is the array so what i want you to do like uh, i want you to uh, get the uh, frequency of each element okay so like uh, what i want to tell you that if i do array dot count one okay so it returns three like three one is three times this is a one this is a one 
this is a one so three times three so like but i want you to do like uh uh like what i want you to do like uh, basically i want you to design a data structure in such a way because this uh, uh, this this is very necessary which sources frequency of each element in like a frequency of each element of the array it stores in itself so you want to de design a data structure so so <coughs> i would give you a hint like in this tutorial what you can do uh, you can define a dictionary as a data structure in which uh, a key will be element element of array okay good and the value will be frequency okay so it might not be necessary that array should be sorted or unsorted it could be anything random number sorted unsorted uh, that is not the case of and if a new element is added to the array you should update the frequency okay uh, then update the frequency update the frequency okay so you need to define like uh, when you traverse the array or, or till the time you can do one thing you can uh, 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 you can be like uh, familiar with this or this is the, your array you need to define a data structure which would i'm giving you a hint that you need to define a dictionary okay dictionary okay so dictionary is the data structure you are going to use so so basically key will be the element of the array and value will be the frequency so you need to define in such a way okay so you can think on this problem because this problem is very necessary for us to think on the back end part okay and till time what we have seen like uh, like images being changed about change and information okay i'll update the information part here okay uh, like when i click on uh, instruction uh, sorry instructions part i'll move to this and about okay working fine okay and uh, uh, i've changed the image as well as number so uh, one instruction important instruction in order to use a calculator app you need to change here uh, template slash calculator app and template slash uh, uh, template slash calculator app for calculator app and template slash voting app for the voting app okay in order to run the respective apps okay so till now we are working on voting app so we have defined template slash voting app so i'll catch up you in the next tutorial so uh, we will solve this problem because it's a very good problem uh, this is basically related to data structures and algorithms but it would help you out to solve this backend part so thank you guys i'll catch up in the next lecture